This is another presentation by My Weight World. Alcohol and weight control. Enjoying alcohol is a normal part of many people's lives. However, when trying to manage your weight, there are special considerations. The goal of this presentation is to inform you about how alcoholic beverages affect your weight, give you insight on how alcohol intake can affect your nutrition and health status, and review options that can help you balance alcohol intake with weight loss goals. Remember, beverages can affect your weight. It is easy to forget that what we drink in addition to our food intake can make a big difference in our weight control efforts. Many beverages, including soft drinks, juices, milk drinks, coffee drinks, and alcoholic beverages have significant amounts of calories. And when our body takes in extra calories from any source, this is stored as fat. Many of us have heard that recent research has linked intake of alcohol with some health benefits. However, it is important to remember that general information on diet or nutrition does not apply to everyone. So be sure to check with your doctor and pharmacist to see what is right for you. The positive effects of alcohol may include an increase in the HDL or good cholesterol levels which help reduce the risk of heart disease, and prevention of the formation of bad or LDL cholesterol which is linked to higher risk of heart disease. However, factors other than alcohol may play a role in this risk reduction. So if you don't drink, protecting your heart is not a good reason to start. Healthy eating, exercise, weight control, and not smoking offers the most protection. Just like with food, awareness of serving size references for alcohol is critical. The standard reference for alcohol includes 5 ounces for a glass of wine, 12 ounces for a single serving of beer, and one and a half ounces for a serving of hard liquor and or spirits. Considering alcohol and weight loss, there is a definite connection. If your weight loss progress has stalled, take a very good look at your alcohol intake. One of the easiest ways to lose weight is to curb, or better yet, eliminate alcohol intake. Not only does alcohol contain significant calories, it also increases your appetite and impairs judgment and willpower, a very poor combination. Remember that alcoholic beverages contain more calories than non-alcoholic drinks. Calorie comparison for nutrients in our food and drinks, no matter how we consume them, are as follows. Four calories per gram for carbohydrates, four calories per gram for protein, 9 calories per gram for fats, and 7 calories per gram for alcohol. So as you see, alcohol contributes a significant amount of calories to our drinks and to our body, so the term beer belly is aptly named. Again, like with food, it is extremely helpful to measure out how much is really filling up your wine glass or beer mug. There is nothing like a measuring cup to help us face reality. Is your bottle or can of beer really 12 ounces? Many brands have 16 ounce containers, so check the label. And of course, consider the serving sizes served at restaurants and bars. They are often much larger. So you can get an idea of how these calories add up. Here's a list of what you get in a variety of alcoholic beverages. Just a couple of glasses of wine with dinner can give you 360 extra calories. A 12 ounce bottle of beer can range from 100 to 170 calories. A shot or one and a half ounces of hard liquor provides about 100 calories. And remember, this is before adding mixers, such as soda, cream, or other liquids. And a restaurant margarita, typically about 12 ounces, can give you as many as 540 calories. And these are often served in pitchers. Remember, 3,500 extra calories is equal to one pound of body fat. So just do the math. It is important to be reminded that there are definite drawbacks to using alcohol 
and many are not very obvious. Especially for those who already have high blood pressure, alcohol intake may further increase blood pressure, which is a leading risk factor for heart disease and stroke. Alcohol, because of its effects on the gastrointestinal system, can interfere with absorption of nutrients. Alcohol can cause or aggravate liver disease as well as promote inflammation of the pancreas. Triglycerides, a blood fat that if elevated are another cardiac risk factor, are also elevated by alcohol intake. Not many realize that alcoholic beverages can actually lead to dehydration, especially dangerous in hot weather. And alcohol intake, because of its effects on nutrition and metabolism, can also raise the risk of osteoporosis and bone fractures. Furthermore, alcohol is a known depressant to your nervous system and also can cause disruption in sleep patterns. Some more good reasons not to drink include your work requires skill or attention, such as operating machinery or very detailed tasks. If you plan to drive, if you're pregnant or even think you can become pregnant, and if you are on medications of any type, even over-the-counter medications. Even more good reasons not to drink. If you feel you cannot moderate or control your drinking, if you are under the legal age for drinking, are a teen or a child, and if your doctor or pharmacist advises you against drinking for medical reasons. Remember, alcohol is a drug. However, if you do choose to drink, the key to potential benefits and enjoying it responsibly is moderation. Remember the definition of moderation is no more than one drink per day for women and no more than two drinks per day for men. If you choose to drink alcohol, more tips to heed. Don't drink on an empty stomach. Have a small snack or meal. This is especially important if you take any medication for diabetes, as alcohol can cause lower blood sugar levels. Plan ahead to limit drinks and slow down your pace of drinking. Sip instead of gulping and put your glass or container down in between sips. If you feel thirsty, it is very important to choose water or other non-alcoholic beverage instead. Remember, alcohol is dehydrating. Try a non-alcoholic version of beer or wine instead of the real thing. And do measure liquor with a one ounce jigger. You will likely consume much less than pouring directly into the glass. Also, try alternating alcoholic beverages with water or low calorie soft drinks and dilute drinks with carbonated water or shaved ice. Order a fancy and fun virgin cocktail or choose an iced coffee or iced tea. Remember the calorie savings will make a significant difference for controlling your weight. There are myths about the effects of alcohol which in fact can be quite dangerous if taken seriously. The thought that alcohol might help fight off a cold is not true. Alcohol can actually interfere with your body's ability to fight infection, as well as interact with medications that may also be used. And the idea that alcohol can warm you up is also not true. It is very deceptive and especially dangerous if you are in very cold weather, since alcohol increases the body's loss of heat. Just a few more ideas for healthy and tasty options to alcohol include adding slices of orange, lemons, or limes to sparkling water, combining four ounces of a favorite juice such as peach, apricot, or pear nectar to chilled club soda, and look for frozen pre-cut fruits such as berries, mangoes, or peaches to blend with milk, ice or soy milk for a delicious and satisfying smoothies or fancy party drinks. In summary, alcohol intake can be enjoyed as part of a weight loss program, but this takes planning. It is important to know if alcohol intake is right for you. Be sure to ask your doctor and pharmacist if there are reasons to avoid alcohol. And remember, alcohol can promote weight gain. So like with everything else, moderation is the key.
This has been another presentation by My Weight World.